Welcome to Integration by Use Substitution, Part 12. Here's the list of formulas we're using. And here are the 15 examples that we will complete. Each part number corresponds to the example number. So in this part, we'll be looking at example 12. Here it is. In this case, it's pretty clear which formula we're going to use, right? I'm sure you all picked the integral of cosecant u cotangent of u du is negative cosecant u plus c. That means 4 theta squared had better be our u. So let's pick u to be 4 theta squared and see whether du shows up. du d theta is 8 theta. So du is 8 theta d theta. Let's substitute the u's into our integral next. We have the integral of cosecant u, cotangent of u, and let's see what's left. Theta times d theta. Is that there? Yes, it is. Theta d theta is 1 eighth of du. We'll substitute that in, save some work, and put the 1 eighth right out. Now apply our formula, we get negative cosecant of u plus c. Substitute the 4 theta squared back in for u, and there's our answer. Remember, we can always check our answer by differentiating, so let's do that. We get negative 1 eighth, that's the constant factor. Differentiate cosecant of anything. We get negative cosecant of that thing, cotangent of that thing, times the derivative of that thing. The negative signs cancel, and the derivative of 4 theta squared is 8 theta. The 8's cancel, and there's our integrand. OK, let's try our shortcut. We'll do the problem without writing the u's in. As soon as we see this problem, we know we're going to try the integral of cosecant u cotangent of u. So let's write it in that form. And right next to that, we need du. So what's du? du is 8 theta d theta. That means we had to multiply the inside by 8. We divide the outside by 8. Now the integral is of the exact format. We get negative 1 eighth cosecant of 4 theta squared plus c. That was easy, right? See you next time. Bye-bye.